today on the show, the biggest wastes of money in 2018. And you're just going to, your jaw is going to hit your chest. Can make you shake your head. On the next Men Are So Smart. So everyone makes questionable financial choices. But most people's money mistakes are chump change compared to the waste, fraud, and just plain dumb decisions made by politicians, private companies, and billionaires every year. So let's review some of the most staggering instances of financial waste that either occurred or were made public in the year 2018, Ronnie. Okay, this one is outrageous. $1.4 million wasted on medical, medical equipment just sitting in a warehouse. With all the veterans who can't get any medical attention at all, they have $1.4 million worth of stuff just laying around they're not using. Hmm. U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs has a long history of improper and wasteful spending. Case in point is a report made public earlier this year detailing an investigation at the Durham, North Carolina, Virginia, uh, I'm sorry, VA Medical Center. Investigators found that $1.4 million worth of equipment ordered by hospital officials was never used. Instead, it sat in an off-site warehouse for years. And they will they'll receive pennies on the dollar for its worth at right. some point, right? Yep. As soon as somebody realizes they don't need that warehouse. Yep. And then oh my wastes of money in the year 2018. People, we had that huge lotto jackpot just a few months back. Oh. Everyone went batshit crazy on that. <laughs> lottery tickets, biggest wastes of money. You have essentially the same chance of winning the lottery whether you play or not. But that doesn't stop Americans from spending $72.6 billion a year or $223 per person. Residents of Massachusetts spend the most on average $763, Ooh. while North Dakotans spend the least 45, according to research done by this company. And in Illinois, residents spend $75 million on Mega Millions tickets between July and November alone. Wow. That's a lot of money. I, you know, I probably spend a sum total of $20 all year on lottery tickets. Yeah. You know, and like they were saying, your odds are almost identical for the people that don't play at all. Because they're so, so, so small. You know, but we talked about that, Ronnie. That There's just, you know, for a drawing on Saturday or something, you buy your ticket on Wednesday, and for Thursday, Friday, and then part of Saturday, there's still a chance. Right. There's a chance that you could be a million-slash-billionaire. Yep. I, it never I, happens. I get the allure. I mean, I understand it, but, yeah, just, you know, of all these people that have spent, you know, hundreds of dollars a year on lotto tickets, not that many winners. That's right. Okay, this next one, costly court renovations. The money they've wasted, over $3 million. West Virginians were outraged to learn that members of the state Supreme Court had spent more than $3 million on office renovations Absurd. over a period of uh, three years, even as other parts of the state government were slashing budgets. Right, people losing jobs. Yep. Yeah, in August, legislators in the House of Delegates impeached four of the five justices Good. on charges stemming from those expenditures, which included a $42,000 antique desk and $7,500 for an inlaid wooden floor map of the state's 55 counties. You don't need that, dude. Uh, no. No, the court's fifth justice resigned just a month earlier, avoiding impeachment on the same charges it's outrageous yeah it's just silliness and and competition uh, between legislators and judges and um you know I, I i cannot speak to the homeless situation in west virginia but i will say that 300 um three million plus dollars uh would go a long way Holy to cow. helping in the homelessness situation yep um i'm just and, saying and even our, our homeless vets people that have given to this country all that they had and then to come back and get you know nothing redundant government programs is next up 
on our biggest waste of money in 2018, an annual report by the Government Accountability Office released in April, outlined how the federal government might save billions by taking 68 different actions to eliminate redundancies between programs. Potential targets for cuts included reducing overlap between 163 separate STEM, that's science, technology, engineering, and math initiatives, and closing 256 storage facilities owned but largely unused by the Department of Defense in action that would save $527 million over five years. Holy crap. $100 million a year. Yep. Uh, now, this next one, and this is one of my huge pet peeves, improper Medicaid payments. Uh, the money they've wasted, oh, right around $37 billion. Wow. Uh, so this report estimated the amount of state and federal funds wasted in 2017 on improper Medicaid payments, including fraudulent or incorrectly billed claims. Of the $596 billion annually uh, cost to taxpayers, an estimated $37 billion, or more than 6% of that, was spent on such payments. And that's up from $29 million just two years prior. You know what I love seeing? I love seeing when they actually go through and investigate somebody who is supposed to be 100% disabled. They show up for their appointments in a wheelchair or with a, a white cane that they're totally blind. And then they have them out water skiing or horseback riding or landscaping their front yard. Or, hey, if you are 100% disabled and you cannot work at all because of an, uh, an accident, then I'm sorry, you should be living in your house watching TV. Um, yeah, 100% disabled is 100% disabled 100% of the time. Biggest waste of money in 2018, gift cards. <laughs> Wasted $1 billion. <laughs> Wasted. Guilty. Just pissing it away. <laughs> Consumers spend more than $130 billion on gift cards each year, of which roughly $1 billion never gets spent. A lot of this chump change. A dollar or two left on one gift card, a couple cents on another, but it adds up, and most of the time, it goes unspent. The upside is that there is a thriving market in buying, selling, and trading used gift cards online, including sites like Raise or Cardpool. There's an idea, Ron. Hmm, I have to look them up. But you, you know, you're not going to get, you're not going to get a hundred dollars for hundred dollars. No, no, it's it's probably pennies, maybe fifty cents on the dollar yeah. at best. Okay, now this next one. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of hot and cold on it, but some people are adamantly against it, and that's sports stadium oh, subsidies. Yeah. Yep. Um, so, and the money wasted on this? Billions. Billions of dollars. Mm -hmm. Federal, state, and local governments in America have all been known to subsidize the construction of sports stadiums through tax-exempt municipal bonds. Despite 83% of economists agreeing that they cost taxpayers more than any economic benefits that are generated. Hmm. Uh, the ongoing waste of tax dollars continued unabated in 2018 as Clark County, Nevada leaders approved $750 million All right. in tax free municipal bonds to lure the Oakland Raiders yeah. to Las Vegas mm -hmm. and build the team a $1.8 billion dollar indoor stadium yeah and there's more uh, uh litigiousness going on uh right now with oakland selling or uh, suing the raiders yes that's in the news too yes be and but they don't want to build them a stadium down there but they don't want them to leave either right. so hey i want my cake i want to eat it too yeah um but it seems like taxpayers are usually the victims in the situation in They're almost every hook. case yeah. I don't know who decides that, but uh, all right. Wasted, wasted money in the year 2018. Americans wasted billions and billions of dollars on bottled water. The average American spends about a hundred bucks a year on bottled water, despite costing 600 times more and requiring up to 2,000 times as much energy to produce the tap water. 
the vast majority of bottles aren't recycled either, generating more than one billion dollars worth of recyclable plastic waste each year. And you know, I see it all the time. I see people that don't even recycle. Right. And their plastic bottles are just in the garbage. Yep. Come on. Yeah, it's, that's a huge problem. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Uh, although, I will tell you this. My water here, I love the taste of my water. Oh, I don't. Um, it's Ours is fine. So I can drink it right out of the tap, no problem. Mm -hmm. So if uh, in my mom's house, the water had a taste. Uh, I wasn't fond of it. So, yeah. All right. This next one, they're talking about luxury villas. Okay. So, and the money wasted on this, about $800 million. A $1.3 billion oil rights deal in 2011 between pet two petrochemical giants and the government of Nigeria has long been considered one of the most corrupt ever. Uh, this year, additional evidence of the extent of that corruption emerged suggesting that Nigeria's then oil minister spent $800 million in funds skimmed from that 2011 deal on two luxury prop properties in Emirate Hills, also known as the Beverly Hills of Dubai. Uh, this, uh, this guy and several former employees of Shell uh, and Enri, uh, two companies implicated, are awaiting trial in Italy on related charges. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is that's a lot of money. Eight hundred million dollars. Holy crap! Imagine imagine how much you could change the world with that. Oh my God! Seriously, right. that's what I would want to do. I mean, I'd make sure that everybody in my family was taken care of, never have to worry again about finances anyway. Life oh. is hard. In. Yeah. Um, Your grandchildren's grandchildren right. would never have to worry about money. But uh, imagine that the, uh, the good that a person could do for the world yeah. with $800 million instead of that. Okay, how about this? How about a trillion dollars? The oh, war oh. on drugs, Ronnie. Yep. John Ehrlichman, one of President Richard Nixon's closest allies and aides, has admitted America's war on drugs was a hoax designed to vilify and disrupt the anti-war left and black people when it was launched in 1971. Since then, more than $1 trillion has been spent on federally funded anti-drug efforts, according to the Center for American Progress. People, uh, <laughs> this has to stop. Yeah. This silliness has to stop. Um, if you are a member of one of these organizations, and you're thinking to yourself, well, I don't want to lose my job. Well, you know what? <laughs> we have to we have to put a stop to some of this. Yeah. I don't mean to throw a blanket over a fire, but, you know. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, this next one, and this is it's still happening. Uh, they're bond scams. And the money wasted on these, $3.4 million. Uh, Reverend... Curb John Caldwell, a pastor of one of the nation's largest Protestant churches and a one-time one advisor to President George W. Bush, was charged in March with bilking $3.4 million from 29 people in an investment scam. According to court documents filed by the Securities and Exchange Commission, Caldwell and Gregory Smith, a broker, allegedly sold investors pre-World War II Chinese government bonds claiming they would receive 15 times their initial payment in just 30 days. Guess what? It didn't happen. Nah, it didn't happen. Yeah, the case is yet to go to trial. But even after it goes to trial, trust me, that money is gone. Oh, for sure. For the investors to be able to recoup anything is... I always wonder about that, too. Boy. When somebody gets sent to prison and is, is uh, told that they have to make restitution... How do they do that when they're not making money in prison? Yeah, well, like Bernie Madoff, he was one of the well, yeah. gigantic, you know, scam guys. He hadn't spent all of his money yet, and so investors were able to get some, but not all of their money back. So, um, not always the case, Ronald. Yeah, it's not always. Sometimes it's just a lose lose. All right, what if I told you that a penny costs more to make? 
that it's actually worth. Okay, would you would you start a business like that? <laughs> really? Think about it. <laughs> Money wasted on pennies, forty six million dollars plus. Uh, yeah, the penny costs more than it's worth, which has been the case for thirteen years and counting. Think about that. In 2016, the U.S. Mint wasted $46 million by producing more than 9 billion pennies at a cost of 1.5 cents a piece. The nation's annual loss is closely related to global metal prices, which reached their peak in 2011, when pennies cost 2.41 cents a piece. Damn. On top of that, an estimated $62 million in pennies are lost every year in circulation simply because Americans end up hoarding the near worthless coins in those glass uh, or plastic water oh, bottle yeah, yeah, containers yeah, yeah, yeah. or even between your couch cushions. Yeah. Or thrown into a fountain somewhere. Yeah. You know, I think the time has come. Just eliminate pennies. Please. They really, there's just not a lot of use for them. You know who uses them? Old men who make purchases with cash yes. and they want to get it right to the exact yeah. penny for some reason. It's like, you know, when somebody said it to me, I go, Hey, don't worry about the pennies, okay, please? Right. You know, just get close. That's what I tell them. I close. When I, on the rare occasion, use cash, I have a container in my truck that has a ton of loose change in it. And I usually pull out 99 cents from there every time that I'm going to make a cash purchase. And I, when they give me my amount, I give them the exact change. Because there's nothing worse to me than having that change sitting in my truck. Mm -hmm. I can't wait till it's all gone. But mm -hmm. somehow it keeps getting bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know how you I don't know how you stop that. You you can't. You can't. All right, this last one, uh -huh. and this is another one. This is right in line there with the sports stadium subsidies. You got me here. Filmmaking subsidies. Okay. Okay. So and the money they waste on this, again, billions. Uh, in another instance of governments giving tax dollars to an already profitable industry, states continue to subsidize film productions with large tax exemptions, which rarely affect filming location decisions and often provide negligible returns on taxpayers' investments. Uh, Louisiana subsidy cost taxpayers $1 billion in the last decade. So in other words, they want people to come to wherever you are, Montana, right? film your movie there, uh -huh. and then, yeah, it gets mentioned maybe in the credits that nobody watches. Right. What does the state get out of that? What do they actually get? I mean, they get a, yeah, you know, maybe the, the hotels that they stay at during filming mm -hmm. get a little bump, uh, restaurants around there get a little bump. Joblessness goes, you know, In the long run, yeah, it's, negligible. it's nothing. Yeah. It's kind of like those... Um, Olympic stadiums that are built in these countries, Ron. Have you wow. seen the shambles that some of those stadiums are in yeah. when they're only two or three or four years old? Right. Amazing. Yeah. It looks like uh, the end of the world is taking place inside of these stadiums. Yep. Yeah. All right, that'll wrap up this episode of Men Are So Smart. Today, we're talking about the biggest wastes of money in 2018 as we count down and get closer towards the end of the year. Can't wait. Uh, we have a lot of information for you that you can find on our website. It is menaresosmart.com. Uh, we are on social media. You can find us everywhere at Men Are So Smart. And our email addresses are lou at Men Are So Smart. And Ronnie at Men Are So Smart. And that's Ronnie, R O N N I E. Yes. And Lou is L O U, not L E W or L O O. You're not going to the bathroom. <laughs> I got to go to the Lou. <laughs> Boy, that was a horrible accent. Your English it? accent really it's needs awful. some work. Yeah, I'm going to work on that. All right, uh, please subscribe to our channel. We appreciate you. We really do. Tell some friends. Uh, share it with them. Yeah. Um, when you subscribe to our channel, make sure to click the bell because you get notifications every time a new show comes out. All right, I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. We will see you on the next Men Are So Smart. Ta-ta.